<sighs> Let's just get back to Ren at the comm tower. Maybe he's had better luck than us at anything. Hello everyone, I am Tessellating Hexagons, back with another slice of that game that may or may not be impossible to commentate, Oxenfree. In the last episode, we tried to rescue Clarissa with, um, mixed results, and now we need to reconvene at the comm tower with Ren and Nona, and, well, would be with Clarissa, but we don't know what the deal with her is, and don't worry, that happens whether you save her for, well, save her first, or save saving her for last, like we did. What I'm trying to say is it doesn't matter if you save Ren before or after her, the events pan out the same way. Anyway, back to the comms tower. Mayday! May! Oh, crap. This is it. Ren, this is just coming out of the speakers on the roof thing. It's not... Ugh. My god, is this what I sound like? Alright, if Ren and Noah are in the comm tower... How can anyone stand to listen to me all day? Just where did Clarissa hobble off to? Let's talk to Ren and Nona before we try and find her, cause, like, I don't know, maybe they know something we don't. I mean, that's not too likely, because they've been cooped up there the entire time, but hey, it's, I mean, it's worth a try. Hey! Hey! I... I saw you guys coming up from the tower. The Dick Tower. I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me, it's all I have left. How's Nona doing? We heard what I imagine was her first radio cast ever earlier. Yeah, no, she's... I don't know. I mean, she's frazzled one moment, then that makes me frazzled, then she sees that I'm frazzled, so she, like, freezes up. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope, no luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was gonna be a big karma dump. Well, we're all here now. Well, I mean, except Clarissa, but we're mostly all here, and we'll come up with something. I hope so. The stupid radio's been... what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right. Just... I'm so glad I took that second brownie. You what, but mate? It's kind of- Wait, second brownie? Ren, please tell me this is a joke, okay? This is a joke, right? Mmm, why would this be a joke? I'm not joking. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, alright? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring you me- You better pray to whatever god scares you the most. It does level you out, because if this screws us up, you're on summary probation. Don't say that. That's not... that's not nice. Oh, God. That's not nice, neither is getting high in the middle of a possession case, you fuck bucket. Jesus, you see, this is why I'm not that fond of Ren. He's irresponsible, says the one who opened the rift in the first place with the radio, but still, that was... Most of the time, he's worse than I am, okay? Hey. So, at this point, there's a bit of a rift of, of another nature opening between Ren and Jonas. And, well, the next part of the story involves us going off with someone, well, splitting into two teams of two to get something done. And, yes, we have a choice as to who to go with. Uh, who, I, who I choose may surprise you, but for now, Nona! This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. We heard you on the squawk box. When I tried it, I just got static and a, a weird sound, so... That's about all that I'm getting. Uh, sorry I was, like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've to been- To tell you the truth, Nona, I don't think you really want to know. Alex, don't treat me like a pet. It's okay- Oh! Oh, I got it! This is great! This is perfect! I know exactly what to do! Do you? Yeah, totally! It's Maggie Adler! Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean... Her house, manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. Oh my god, I'm not sitting through a contest of who can be the biggest butt monster right now, so can we please just jump to the part where we try and fix our problem? Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there what is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. 
and the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't... Honestly, anything to get me off this tower and away from this specific configuration of yelling people would do wonders for me right now. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case! Just shut up! Both of you! Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Nona? Wanna come with me? What? Really? I mean... I guess... Why this are you isn't... making me shack up? Be quiet! It... Both of you. God, you're like puppies. You're not gonna die if I go to the grocery store for ten minutes. This is a total punt, Alex. Yeah, this no, is it's fine. This'll be a good... If you don't want to take sides, don't take sides. But no, nobody's happy with this. I'm happy with this. <sighs> hey, Nona's happy. You're happy, right? Um, sure. So there we go. You could pick Nona, and I picked Nona. Partly so that the... The odd couple here could work through their differences, and or kill each other, you know, being left alone for long enough, but... I just prefer Nona's company. I like her personality. And you don't really get to talk to her all that much throughout the game normally, so... Go with Nona. She's very nice, she's worth getting to know, and this is your only chance to properly talk to her, plus... Jonas needs to be put in timeout, and I can't stomach more of Ren's face, so that's my story and I'm sticking to it. No hard feelings, right? I'll see you when you get back, Alex. Yikes. Well, I suppose we should give some parting words to Ren as well, since we're here. No hard feelings, right? Good luck with the thing, Alex. Well, you two just work through your differences, and we will be back with the boat. Uh, that's not how- wait, no, hang on. Oh yeah, w wait, no. So we're going to go and get the boat keys, and the keys to get to the boat, or whatever- whatever Red's plan was. Go figure, it'd be a bit fuzzy on the details. And then we arbitrarily come back up here? Yeah, well, whatever. Hopefully, those two will have calmed down by the time we get back in the meantime. I don't want to say girls night out, but that's kind of what this is devolving into, but not with any of the connotations, it's just nice to hang out with Nona. She's so likable. And I, I, I... I did see someone in the comments trying to ship me with her and calling us tessellating nonagons, and I approve of this pun. I mean, if I had to be shipped with any of them, then sure, I, ac I accept this ship. It's not necessarily canon, but if I had to pick one of them, then yeah, sure. Which I suppose raises a good question. Kiss, marry, kill, Ren, Jonas, and Nona. Well, I would say kill Ren, but given the situation, we're trying to make sure that not everybody dies. Although, I'm not going to state whether killing people is possible in this game, but bearing in mind lives appear to be on the line, I'll just leave you to run wild with your collective imaginations if you haven't seen this game before already. Also, it looks like those lamps on the fence should be, like, the answer to a puzzle or something. Like, up, down, up, 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 down. But this isn't Paper Mario, so let's just be on our way, right, Nona? Ah, she's on my side. You know, I do remember you from Mr. Tuttle's class. You sit in the, uh, back, behind Jake. I just forgot. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, it's it's nothing to be sorry about. I don't talk all that much, so I don't know why you'd remember me. I'm also just, like, never there. It's a loophole where, I don't know if you know this, but if you ditch, you get a detention, and if you don't go to that, you get suspended. But suspensions are like paid vacation, you can just do your work over. So... Wait, if you don't really go to, like, class, what are you doing instead all day? Jenny, the TA. She lets me practice ballet in her studio. So that, really. Oh, and don't tell anyone, but my birthday's in three days, and I'm having a thing, and you're invited. I think Clarissa's out of town, so... Well, happy early birthday! In my family, we celebrate birthdays all week, so you're four days late. 
You gotta get in the mind state. Thanks. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I brought it up. That's not true. I was thinking about, uh, well, I'm worried about Clarissa and... Well, I was thinking about my last birthday when, you know... Actually, sorry. Never mind. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just in a fog right now. It's okay. It's fine. We're all kinda in a daze right now. I just hope she's okay. That's all. We'll find her, Nona. We're not leaving without her. Ugh. Yeah, I know. Now, this whole conversation is supposed to last you the entire trip back to town, but I wanted to make sure that I didn't run into anything that might overlap with it, because this game does have a tendency to interrupt itself, and also there's a pile of stones over here, and we are sort of collecting anomalies. And also on the way back, we're gonna need to take the other path for... reasons. So what does this one have to say to us, then? This is an interesting one, by the way. The island is famously named after Colonel Caleb Edwards for his glorious and triumphant slaughtering of countless families during one of the great ethnic cleansings of the 20th century. The forceful removal of an ignorant people to make space for destined holders is a time-honored tradition in our still young country. And you will be a part of that heritage, Alex. Do not resist. It will be over soon. That's nice! Anyway, remember this door. It'll be important later, but, like, much later. We're talking end game kind of later. Yeah, that, that, that door is the way to the final chapter, and we are... I'd say we're about halfway through the game at this point, kind of. Maybe? I don't know. I'm really bad at estimating. Also, I feel like I've started to talk a little bit like Nona, or at least I've inherited a little bit of her... I don't want to say airheadedness, but... She reminds me of me. Clearly that's why I, I have this friendly fondness to her. Also, look on the gate, there's another one of those pyramid symbols that I completely didn't point out in the last episode, but I mean, it was there if you know what to look for. Ah, we're nearly there. Like I said, I know that conversation was supposed to last us the whole way down, and I'm always paranoid about going ahead when they're talking, because you might run into a new conversation that would overlap the current one, and then you'd miss out the entire conversation, and also we had a pile of stones to tune into, and here's another one also that I suppose I forgot about. Oh, it's another high one. Didn't see that coming. How how many of you are there? Well, that's nice, and we don't have an answer for that. So anyway, back to town. I uh, this is uh, odd to say out loud to you, but do you at all have the feeling that we've done this before? Like. I come to the island and almost die. I mean, I uh, like I know we haven't, but yeah, I don't know. It's I've had like goose pimples since we got off the boat and everything the ghosts have said and it's almost like I can like I know what you're going to say before you say it. I'm not I won't test you. Okay, I like. What am I going to say right now? Oh god. No, no, I don't know. Ghosts suck. Actually, I just realized I don't even know what I was going to say, so maybe I would have. Relatable. Well, that was a totally worthwhile conversation. Onwards, as I previously stated, to the town! So, it's the Parks and Facilities building. That's down a bit, right? If I'm remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yeah, we're... we're close. That made it sound like I was trying to shut her up. That's not what I intended at all. And I'm sure Alex feels the same way. It's just an unfortunate tone of voice. I get that a lot. Sometimes my tone of voice doesn't accurately reflect what I'm trying to say, especially when I'm just typing online. Or speaking in general, because I just have one of those accents where everything either sounds like a euphemism for getting drunk or just plain old sarcastic. Anyway, we have finally arrived back in town. Clarissa! What are you... How did she get up there? She's alive! You... You're alive! Man, I've never been so happy to see you in my life. Clarissa! What? Alex! Christ, what's wrong with her? Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Clarissa, wake up. Fight them off. Take control of yourself. Um, hang in there, baby. Alex, uh, please, can you just... I don't know what you can do, but can you just do something? Please, just try anything. Like... Uh, Clarissa! This happened to Jonas too. It's dreadful. It's... Uh, I don't know. It's like when they want to talk or something. Oh, uh, God. Clarissa? Can you... Can you hear me? 
On the beach. Alex, come on, just please try and get her down. At least, please, some help. Carissa, can you come down? Uh, she just looks off. They resisted the love wave. This is unheard of. You think you can control me? Clarissa. I, what? I, I, no, I, I'm not trying. You're not trying. You're not trying at all. You haven't changed. Not a bit. Yes, Clarissa, we we are. This isn't trying. You're walking around pointing a radio at things. Might as well be a stick. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. What does that even mean? I got her. Is she okay? Or she's... I think so. Oh, Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> you scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? Do you remember anything that happened? <sighs> I remember waiting in Fort Milner and seeing you. That was a while ago. How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? The usual answer to any question tonight has been, I have no idea, and sorry to say, but this is no different. So, you're just blank? No, I remember something. I remember you, with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. You'd feel like that anyway, to be fair. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Wait, what's what's going on? We're back at the... What? It's Clarissa's turn? Yeah, it's Clarissa's turn. It's Clarissa's and turn. You, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend... <sighs> Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump-started everything. I see. I'm sorry, okay? I'm... I'm sorry. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. I'm not she rising to a bait. She creates chaos. She's a storm chaser. She's not a bet. I've been with her the whole time, all right? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right you're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking Clarissa. forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Again, like, not rising to it. Do you understand who you're living with? It's not worth our time. Clarissa, I don't know what you're talking about, but this does not seem like the time or the place, so... No, this is exactly the time, exactly the place, before you go anywhere else with her. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Ugh, she is a pox, Jonas. She makes bad things happen. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough. Clarissa, that's enough. It's too much right now. I can't, I can't believe. Ugh. No, no, she it is... wasn't my fault, really. I don't just Alex, this is none of my business, okay? None. That's fair. But we came here to do a thing, and that thing is gonna get us home. So let's get home. No. Uh Clarissa, what are you All the outs in three? Hey, whoa. Man, do you ever do you ever get deja vu? Jeez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Oh constantly. I'm like the empress of deja vu. It's kinda of been my <sighs> It's kind of been like the theme of the whole night, really. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Okay, well, the office that we gotta try to get into is like, right there. So, let's try and whatever our way in. Yeah. Although, before we try that, I mean, we could go in there. We're gonna try- we're gonna try to get into the office thing, right? To get the key? C could you hear me disputing that? Okay, well, we'll try the door first, but there's an ominous red light down there, and you try and stop me tuning into that once we've done whatever we're doing here, okay? Yep, this isn't budging. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think we can just bust our way through, honestly. Bust our way through? What is that supposed to mean? I think we should try it. Well, why not? It worked. 
Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. So what have we got here? Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Nope. Cool. Carry on. I think one of the boys knows, but I don't remember which one. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says, they're wall radios? Wave-assisted lock? Whatever that means. Oh, duh. It says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. So they're like ID tags or something. Uh, okay, cool. Great. Ooh, wait. Wait, here's like a... Wait. What is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just wanna... Okay, here. <laughs> okay, game, why would you interrupt yourself to show me this, um, this screen? Okay, so first of all, we've got five more anomalies to get, and now... Let's introduce a new type of collectible that we should also be checking every single map for, because... I did say there was another thing, and this is that other thing. Whom it should concern. This island, and its history, is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? What? what, what is that? Who, who's it for? To whom it should concern. It says right here, I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control, and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now, I feel any further inaction... Forces outside our control. Like... like ghosts, or... The army, or what was she talking about? Let me finish then. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! <laughs> wait, wait. To whosoever finds the material. Know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden, and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly, for the interest of time itself. Oh, <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Yeah, we've all had the mechanical unicorn dream. But I think I'm ready just to go home, to be totally face up with you. Again, that's fair. But yes, we now have a radio that can go a lot lower and a lot higher. And if we go to 140 point... Everything becomes a Alpha, November, Tango, India, Quebec, Uniform, Echo, eventually. We can now hear special clues about, well, so-called beacons. And if we go to the area that corresponds to that clue, in this case the antique shop, because it was spelled out in the NATO, it's not phonetic, but they call it that anyway alphabet, we find a letter. Oh my god, the, the Camaloa was destroyed by friendly fire? We, we've been lied to all this time. You can read that letter at your own pace. There are a fair few of those on the island, and I know that gets added to this screen at some point, but apparently not right now. Hmm. Well, I'll be getting all of those as well. Also, there's an achievement for getting all of them, but I already have that. Now, I should end the episode, but I really do want to deal with this car down here, because ominous red light, a brand new radio, I mean, we already used it once, but hey, I want to break it in some more. And break indeed we shall. Oh, look at turning red because we're near a thing. Should be within the old radio parameters, because you're supposed to get this before you get the new radio, or after. Alex, what are you- Oh, Christ. Is this, like, something you do now? Yep. What- what- what is- what's happening? Yeah, I, I, uh, I got this. Don't worry. Tempting fate, yeah! Much improved. Uh, Alex? Can't you just... Can't you stop this, please? Can't you just let us leave? If, if we could, could stop, we, we would, would not how it works. Works. What? What is... Many times, times must, must we say you say, say you can, can not, not 
Get, Get out. out. Says you. Talk, Talk to, to, to radio as much as, as you, you like other, other Alex will, will not, not help. help. Betwixt we, we are. are Talk to the radio? You, you mean those transmitter things? Holiday? That doesn't uh, sound so bad, I guess. Excuse me? Yes, let's pick the one good word they said and hug it for dear life. Sounds good to me. But they didn't say that. Well, that was... that was entirely worth it. Now, have, it, have you added the thing to this map yet? No. Okay, I guess that must be on the, the next screen where that gets added. I don't know. But anyway... Yes, there is one of those beacons for every single map of this game, as it were. Yeah, every single... Well, I think... I, I'm fairly sure it's every single one anyway, and I will show all of them. But until then, unless there are any further conversations to have between these two, I will say that I have been, and will continue to be, tessellating hexagons. And in the next part of Oxenfree, well, I, I guess we'll head to the Adler Estate, steal that boat, and maybe finally go home? Uh, it's never that easy, is it? But what will stop it being that easy? Well, you'll just have to wait and see, won't you? See you then.